The less you spend on your case, the more money you can throw at a graphics card or CPU. And Kohling demonstrates that going cheap on a case doesn't necessarily mean it has to look like it came straight from the 90s. The Stronghold even comes with a tempered glass side panel, not the cheap acrylic kind of side panel that can be found on most entry level cases, but actual tempered glass. And it usually retails below 50 euros. So let's see if going cheap is actually worth it. The Stronghold comes in either black or white finish, and we're obviously looking at the black version here. It accommodates motherboards up to ATX size, with even some eATX boards being supported, and has a fairly typical outside volume for an ATX case of roughly 38 liters. The also up to ATX size power supply sits in the bottom of the case and is covered by a shroud, so we can hide our messy cable management underneath there. At this price point, a PSU shroud cannot be taken for granted, so that's definitely a plus. Another plus are the two included fans, we will take a look on those later on. Of course, there are some compromises to be made, like the PCI slot covers being the cheap breakaway type. Let's first shift our attention to the tempered glass side panel, which arguably is the standard feature of the Stronghold. It's held in place by four metal thumb screws. After unscrewing them, the glass doesn't fall right off, which is of course nice to see. It still rests somewhat securely on rubberized pins and can be taken off easily. Now the backside of the bore holes is quite sharp and will eventually wear off the rubber. However, the front side of the glass has a beveled edge all around so it doesn't cut into your hands. The panel has a nice dark tint to it which looks quite premium in my opinion. This is backed up by its solid thickness of 4mm. The glass also extends all the way to the front of the case, so there's quite a lot of glass real estate. Now behind the glass we will find a fairly typical case layout with a PSU shroud at the bottom. There are some cutouts that showcase the HDD cage, but I personally would prefer not having these cutouts for a cleaner look. The cutout on top allows a bit more room for radiators or fans to be installed. Radiators can be up to 240mm long. Installation may require some wrestling with the cables of the front I.O. depending on where you can rub them. If you really try, you might be able to cram a bigger radiator in there, as the mounting rails are roughly 32cm long. Another 240mm radiator can be placed on the top. Colink is also including a magnetic dust filter which snaps to the top of the case. I don't know if mine got smashed up slightly during shipping, but it's a bit wavery. Wavery or not, the filter somewhat keeps dust from trickling into the top, but also adds an additional obstacle for the air escaping through the top. Speaking of airflow and dust filters, this is clearly not what the front of the Stronghold was designed for. I absolutely appreciate the clean and minimal look though, the front is made from plastic and has a brushed aluminum style of finish. This is nicely done and looks quite premium, until you touch it. I'm absolutely nitpicking here though, let's not forget we're talking about a case for below 50 bucks or so. But the edges are quite sharp and the plastic itself feels a bit light and cheap. However, the clearance to the glass panel actually is decently small and even. While this side is obviously completely closed, the other side sports an air intake extending all the way from the bottom to the top. Now if this wasn't obvious already, this is not an airflow centric case. Now to help airflow a bit, Kohling pre-installed two 120mm fans, one of which sits in the front. Assessing this requires removing the front, which can be done by pulling with confidence. Actually, I've had many cases requiring far more force, so the accessibility is actually not bad here. Well, until we discover that the top I.O. comes off as well, meaning there are some cables getting in the way. This is not an ideal solution as the front needs to be assessed from time to time for some de-dusting. Speaking of dust, there's no dust filter for the front intake. This is no surprise at this price point, but be prepared to clean the inside of the case or front and stud radiator and fans more often. Both pre-installed fans are 120mm DC regulated fans, which come with the usual 3-pin fan connector. The front fan is sitting a bit too low for my liking, blowing air onto the HDD cage. You probably want to remount it a bit higher, pointing to where the graphics card will be installed. Kohling included a wide variety of screws, but no additional pair of short fan screws, so we need to take them from our own inventory, as the fan is originally installed with a pair of long screws. As to be expected, the fans are not the best, which is really the case with most pre-installed case fans. But I'd call them usable. They max out at just over 1200 RPM and I measured a sound pressure level of roughly 34 dBA at a 10cm distance with a single fan in the front running at its max RPM. 
Moving on to the front I.O., we get two USB 2 and one USB 3 port and our usual mic and headphone jacks. The Stronghold also sports a reset button and quite interestingly an RGB switch button. There's no RGB pre-installed, but this button can be used to connect to something like the EasyDIY RGB converter. That way we can cycle through RGB effects with a click on the top of the case. Now the backside of the Stronghold is held in place by two non-captive thumb screws. The panel slides off and gives access to our cables, PSU and drives. Two 3.5 inch drives can be mounted in the cage. And behind the motherboard, two 2.5 inch SSDs can be mounted on a tray that is secured by a single screw. This makes the installation a bit easier. If you need more space, additional 2.5 inch drives can be mounted directly to the case, either visible in the front or mostly hidden in the back depending on which aesthetic you prefer. Wherever the SSDs are placed, there likely is a cutout for the cable management nearby. Some manufacturers strive for less and hopefully conveniently place cutouts. Calling on the other hand went for the Swiss cheese approach and put holes everywhere. This may look a bit cluttered, but makes routing cables easy. There is also a little cutout in the PSU shroud for routing the power cable to the graphics card, which I find pretty neat. No, I also like that Kohling includes a dust filter for the power supply. This filter can be pulled out easily for cleaning purposes. Though I had some problems putting the filter back in, as there is a metal hook which is meant to be holding the filter in place, but obviously is a bit too tight. Nothing too bad, and I'm actually happy they included a dust filter for the PSU to begin with. So, if you're building a PC on a budget, the Stronghold is definitely worth considering. Especially if you're a fan of that minimalist aesthetic with clean lines and a big tempered glass side panel, but don't want to stretch for brands like N6 T or Fractal Design. Now, the build quality of the Stronghold is more than adequate considering the price, and I especially like the high quality tempered glass panel. But there are some design elements that aren't too well thought out. Like the front I.O. coming off with the front panel, or the fiddly PSU dust filter. But those are minor annoyances for a case at this price point. Thanks for watching and consider to subscribe.